Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Bombardier Global 7500 Business Jet earns FAA approval. FAA issues emergency AD for the 737 MAX. And the remains of a V-1 flying bomb is discovered in England. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's November 9th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. The FAA has certified the Bombardier Global 7500 aircraft. It will enter into service later this year. Michel Houlette, Bombardier Senior Vice President of the Global 7500 program, said this milestone is the latest accomplishment for our award-winning Global 7500 business jet, which has been exceeding expectations on every level. The Global 7500 business jet has proven itself as the highest performing aircraft in the industry and promises to revolutionize the market and significantly change the business aviation landscape. Earlier this year, the aircraft demonstrated the expansion of its advertised maximum range of up to 7,700 nautical miles, 300 nautical miles further than they had initially projected. It has exceeded takeoff and landing performance, making challenging airports such as Chicago Executive in Eagle County, Colorado, easier to maneuver in adverse weather conditions. Upon entry into service, the Global 7500 aircraft will offer a full-size kitchen and four true living spaces. The aircraft will debut Bombardier's patented new wash seat, designed for maximum comfort and it will be exclusive to the new global family of aircraft. Coming up after the break, Trig officially opens a European office. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. Do you have a story suggestion? If so, send your idea to news-spy at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Trig Avionics has officially opened its new European office in Amersfoort, Netherlands. Trig CEO Andy Davis said this is a really significant day for Trig. As a growing company, this new facility allows us to continue to provide the very best customer service across aviation. This location will host a European sales, support, and manufacturing operation. Trig manufactures certified communication, navigation, and surveillance equipment for general aviation. NADA recently honored Sonoma Jet Center as the inaugural recipient of its Above and Beyond FBO Award. NADA's Above and Beyond FBO Award is presented in recognition of FBOs that demonstrate extraordinary community outreach, excellence in customer service, and a commitment to safety. NADA launched its FBO's Above and Beyond initiative in March to highlight these exceptional businesses and the dedication of their leadership in serving as partners within the industry and their communities. Sikorsky has been awarded a performance-based logistics contract with a value of $717 million. The contract will provide supply and logistics support to the entire fleet of in-service CH-53E Super Stallions and MH-53E Sea Dragon helicopters. The H-53E is a heavy lift helicopter, continuing to support the U.S. Marine Corps and Navy in missions at home and around the world. 
the first A330-800 development aircraft to fly MSN 1888, landed at toulouse blagnac France. At 2.35 p.m. local time, Tuesday after successfully completing, its first flight which lasted 4 hours and 4 minutes. The aircraft, the second member of the A330neo family, is powered by the latest technology, Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 turbofans. The crew in the cockpit included experimental test pilot Malcolm Ridley and Francois Barry and test flight engineer Ludovic Gerard. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The FAA, after a recent Lion Air crash that took the lives of all on board, has issued an emergency AD for Boeing 737 MAX 8 and MAX 9 airplanes, following analysis performed by Boeing showing that if an erroneously high single angle of attack sensor input is received by the flight control system, there is a potential for repeated nose-down trim commands of the horizontal stabilizer. The FAA issued this AD to address the potential resulting nose-down trim, which could cause the flight crew to have difficulty controlling the airplane and lead to excessive nose-down attitude, significant altitude loss, and possible impact with terrain. The AD applies to all the Boeing Company Model 737, 8 and 9 airplanes certificated in any category. Investigators recovered the flight data recorder for the Lion Air 737 MAX from the ocean floor last week. Analysis of the data from the black box shows the airplane was intact with both engines running when it impacted the water. Indonesian officials say that the flight crew that had flown the accident aircraft the previous day had reported similar problems with the airplane. The FAA is requiring a number of revisions to the airplane's operating manual. After these messages, remains of a V-1 flying bomb is discovered in England. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. The remains of a German V-1 flying bomb that was shot down during World War II has been unearthed by an archaeological team working on a site near Ashford in Kent, England. It was one of almost 10,000 that were launched towards England from Germany in the latter stages of the war. The team unearthed several key metal parts of the V-1. Allied fighter aircraft and anti-aircraft artillery had become adept at shooting down the so-called buzz bombs in flight. And this particular bomb was one that was intercepted before it reached its target. The private archaeology team, Research Resource, led the excavation. Most of the steel used to construct the bomb had corroded away, but many aluminum parts survived. They included a fuel compressor and parts of the pulse engine jet and guidance system. The team recently also excavated a V-2 rocket crash site near Sittingbourne in Kent, England. V-2 rockets captured after the war provided the basis for military missile and civilian space programs in the U.S under the direction of Warner Von Braun. Colin Welch and his brother Sean, who run Research Resource, said they hope to establish an online museum displaying the V weapons they have excavated. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. 
Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you Monday.